Sheetama and welcome back to my channel. So, last time on my channel, I showed you guys what all birthday gifts I got. And now, as the title suggests, I am going to be showing you guys what all I bought for my birthday. Yes, this is probably the hugest haul that I have done in the course of my channel. There are about 25-26 products and basically I am going to be dividing the haul into two parts. This is the first part and the second part is going to come after some time. So if you are interested in knowing what all I got for my birthday, then let's dive into this video. Also guys, most of the stuff that I bought is obviously very affordable, under Rs. 500. So as usual, I have makeup, skincare and some miscellaneous stuff and in this video, I'm going to be majorly including the miscellaneous stuff and some makeup. Also, after a long, long time, I have done like a classic black smoky eye. So do let me know in the comments how you like my makeup and if you're interested in knowing how I achieved this look, then make sure you watch my short video which I uploaded on YouTube and I have also uploaded this look on my Instagram. So make sure you follow me on both my Instagrams. The handles are right here on the screen and yeah, without wasting any more time, we'll actually jump onto the haul. So this time I got some jewelry pieces, two of them being a little bohemian and one of them is very aesthetic and dainty. So starting off with the bohemian and oxidized version, the first thing which I have is this. Now this is a pile shaped choker. So this is something which you can actually wear with your Indian outfits, your western outfits. I wore it with a shirt in my video but you can definitely wear it with your saris, your salwar suits. It looks really really pretty and I think it looks very pretty with any western outfit as well and I think that was a trend that Komal Pandey brought up which was like revolutionary and I really like this. This is not very expensive. This was like for 230 rupees. Yeah. So I think uh, 230 for such a piece is pretty great and I got it off of Amazon and I'm also going to be linking everything which I showed. The next jewelry item which I have is actually this. Now this is again a very trendy, you know, a choker sort of a situation. It's again very bohemian and I love the color blue and I have these chokers in a few other colors like a red and a black but I've never had the blue one and this looks so pretty. Uh, this is the one I wore on my birthday. I didn't saw a picture here of me wearing that and this looks so pretty. It just hugs my neck very well and uh, it gives like quite some good coverage. This one I actually actually got it from the local market and I got this for like 100 bucks which is I think insane. Now the third and the last jewellery item which I have is actually this. This is a layered choker from Jewels Maze. Uh, again, it's from Amazon. Jewel Maze is actually one of my favorite jewelry brands from Amazon. They have like really nice uh, aesthetic jewelry collections at a very affordable price. And this one, if I'm not wrong, details will be $1.99, which if you think it's really cheap. Uh, the only con about this, I think it's like too vibrantly golden. I would have liked it if it was a little bit more oxidized, but I'm sure eventually it will oxidize. It looks really dainty and pretty. And uh, you can just wear it, you know, with a turn neck or if you want you can just wear it with your Indian outfits as well again such chains and necklaces are very versatile you can just pair it up with anything and everything now that was all the jewelry that I have moving on I have this this is a yellow colored nail paint from L18 and this costs rupees 55 only which is I think a steal and I had been wanting a good matte yellow or a neon colored nail polish for a very long time in an affordable price and I think L18 just makes the best lipsticks and nail paints in general so definitely grab this the staying power is actually quite long and it will stay for like two weeks for that matter next I have two perfumes with me and these are the only things which are way above budget I personally do not like women's perfumes Perfume. I most of the time I wear like a men's perfume like that and so the first one is this this is the Antonio Bendaris the golden secret like how cute does that look it looks really aesthetically pretty and like this is like an entire thing and it opens like this it smells so so great and this actually retails for like I guess 2,500 something like that but I think it's totally worth your money because it just smells so good and you actually are gonna be smelling like that for the rest of the day. The second perfume is actually my personal favorite and it is again from Antonio Bindaris. It's called their Power of Seduction perfume and this one is actually my personal favorite and I have used this like every day. I use it almost every single day. This also again is the same price range as of that but I think this smells a little bit better and I honestly this just smells too good like you know if you wear men's perfume you know how it smells and I just love the fragrance of this totally worth your investment and this also like stays on throughout and I usually like wear this to school okay and after like a tired sweaty day in my school it still performs so that's saying something so definitely get this because I think if you're paying 1500 for this it is totally worth your investment moving over to the more interesting items that is makeup obviously the first item which I have is this I think you all have seen this by now 
every video of mine. This is actually the Blue Heavens Walk Free Eyebrow Definer in the style grey. This is my holy grailish eyebrow product right now. Like literally, I cannot do without this. This retails only for rupees seventy five, which is I think a steal for the price you're paying. Uh, it also comes in an artisto version, which has like a spoolie at the back. But uh, if you can pack your own spoolie, you do not need to pay fifty rupees extra for that. I think this is just such a perfect color for my eyebrow. And if you have like black hair and black eyebrows, do not go for like absolutely black eyebrow pencils or brown. I think grey is a color that just suits perfectly well. It's just perfectly creamy and waxy, just how an eyebrow pencil should be. The next item is again from Blue Heaven, and it is their flawless liquid concealer. Now I use this in my Saraswati Puja tutorial, and I did say that I did not like it, and I still stand by my verdict. I actually do not like it very much. This is like straight up orange. It almost actually feels like paint. Like you apply it, just look at this. It doesn't look very terrible on camera, but in real life, it looks extremely dark compared to my double chin, and. Also, this just dries down like paint, which is very difficult to blend in later, and like makes me look really patchy. So I don't want that kind of a finish every time I'm using a concealer. The finish, the texture, and the shade, all in all, just makes me not like it very much. Uh, so that's the thing. It retails for rupees one fifty. I got it for rupees eighty two again off of Amazon. The next and the final Blue Heaven product which I have with me is this. This is their Studio Perfect Primer, and this was actually the first ever primer that I ever bought, and this is actually my second tube. That must tell something about this. This is literally the best affordable primer out there, and I think they have changed their packaging right now. It's become white, but the one which I have is in the purple tube. Now this retails for rupees three hundred, and I got it for rupees one sixty five again, and it's a silicone based. Primer, it just fills in your pores very well, smoothens your texture, and you know, the skin soft look there actually. And I really like this primer. Moving on to the next product I have is actually a face palette from Hilary Roda. Now this has like uh, eight eyeshadows, two blushes, one contour, and one highlighter. Now this is actually definitely not my shade. The contour is just too warm for me, and the highlighter is just too bronze for me. I actually did my eyes using this palette. This is a fantastically pigmented palette, and I do not know how. How they do it in such an affordable price. This retails for rupees two hundred, but the pigmentation and everything is just bomb AF. For a beginner, again, classic it is a bang for your buck. Now the next two palettes which I have, I have already spoken about them in my previous video. Obviously, my favorite beauty glazed color gold palette. It's legitimately like. A very good palette, like sixty shades, glitters, mattes, shimmers. You get everything, and you basically have it all sorted. Uh, this also does have quite some cons because I think this thing, this holder thing, is pretty flimsy. And if you like, uh, you know, you can't actually get all the sixty shades at once, so that's like a con again. But other than that, I think it's a great palette to invest into. And if you're a beginner and want to play with colors, definitely buy this. The next palette which I have again, I've shown you guys, it's the Makeup Revolution, their Reloaded Neutral Two Palette, and. And this palette is actually my personal favorite from the two because this is like a perfect little face palette, a perfect two-in-one product. The pan sizes are also pretty big, so that you can dip your brush and properly contour your face. And it also has like this base shade, so you can use it to set your under eyes as well. All in all, this is a great face and a makeup palette. The next items which I have are actually more so body care items rather than makeup or skin care. So the first item which I have is actually this. This is the Jovi's Aqua Body Wash. Now, as the name suggests, it's a water-based body wash, and not a cream-based one. I bought it in the month of February, and it's over till here. So there's a lot of quantity in it, almost about 300 ml. The only con about this is that it smells too sickeningly sweet. Now, I do not necessarily want to smell sweet throughout the day, so that's the only thing which I do not like about it. But if that's not a problem for you, that's great. Uh, and also, it opens up like this, so that's like pretty great. This does not foam up much. I'm Like other body washes, the next item which I have is also a body wash, and it is the Vivals Glycerine Body Wash in the shade Honey. Now this is literally my favorite body wash. Period. Now this is super affordable. This retails for rupees forty only, and this is the hundred ml version. You also get like a big pouch version, so you can keep refilling it, and you get also like a bigger one. Uh, this is just like a travel size. You want to try it out? Definitely buy this, and if you like it, then um, move over to the bigger version. And I think you should definitely buy it. This is like. The best body wash I've ever used. It almost smells exactly like Pears का जो glycerin वाला soap आता था. It exactly almost smells like that. But it is such a beautiful, beautiful body wash. It it just makes my skin feel so nice. It just foams up to the right consistency. 
definitely recommend you all to buy this body wash because it's just worth every single penny you're spending on it. So guys, that's it for the first part of my haul video and I really hope that you guys enjoyed it and if you did, you know the drill. Like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll meet you in my next one with the part 2 of this haul which will have more skincare and makeup. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and guys, we are super super close to 400 subscribers. We are at 380 almost. So it would take just a second to subscribe. Please subscribe to my channel. It would mean the world to me and I'll meet you in my next one. Until then, stay home, stay safe and lots of love. Bye!